So now in this video, we're going to look at uh, current again. We're going to look at the current to the base of an NPN bipolar junction transistor. So right now the transistor is on. We have the uh, red LED current being set by a 220 ohm resistor, 5 volt power supply. We did Ohm's law before to find that'll give us about 13.6 milliamps of uh, current. And um, we need a tiny bit of current though from base to emitter to get that to turn on. So I'll unplug this and you can see we uh, turn the transistor off and uh, we'll take a closer look. Um, I can actually get a little bit of current to flow with my body. You can see the LED uh, lighting up right there, but uh, it's not registering current on there. We could uh, measure that as well if we really want to. And zooming in, so we got the 220 ohm resistor there, LED long lead on top, short lead on bottom there, anode, cathode, and then we have the uh, 2 n 22 NPN bipolar junction transistor. So collector on top, base in the middle, and emitter at the bottom, going to ground. Um, other transistors, even NPN bipolar junction transistors, may have a different uh, pin layout. And uh, there's our jumper. This is a 10,000 ohm resistor right here. So we should be letting through a little less than half of a milliamp of current flowing through there. But we're gonna measure that with the multimeter. So first, let's set this to uh, milliamps. Again, it should be uh, less than about half of a milliamp. So we'd actually wanna go into the microamp range. But uh, you always wanna set the meter to a higher current than you expect to uh, measure. And um, so it'll be close to a milliamp. And even the uh, probe is uh, giving a uh, false signal uh, right there. But uh, that won't matter once, oops, I have these backwards. We would just get a, uh, hopefully a negative current. Right there, there you can see a negative current if you put it backwards. So. Um, Usually not uh, too dangerous putting the uh, probes backwards. Uh, there you can see, we got the same. So about 0.47 milliamps, which um, we got five volts, but you drop about 0.7 volts from base to emitter. That doesn't drop the voltage in that way though. Just the LED drops about two volts since it's a red one. Um, we just need to get that little current trickling through. The uh, base to emitter drops about 0.7 volts in that direction right there. So five uh, volts minus uh, 0 0.07 would be about uh, 4.3 divided by 10,000 would be 0.43 uh, uh, milliamps. And uh, so I think that's probably good enough, but we'll go to the microamp uh, range and uh, take that measurement. So we can do that uh, right there. And uh, there you can see, maybe like a speck uh, higher. It's still about uh, 0.42 milliamps, which is the same as 420 microamps. So uh, pretty much spot on. Now we need a little bit of current going base to emitter. The exact amount that we need is based on the gain of the transistor. So this is a 2N2222. 2222. Uh, it probably has a gain of uh, maybe 300. Uh, probably like 200 or something. Might be as low as 100. And so that's what we would take, worst case scenario, 100 gain, which means if we wanted 100 milliamps of current to flow through this circuit, we would need about one milliamp of current going base to emitter right there. Um, so with uh, uh, 0.43 milliamps of current, or 0.42 is what we measured, going through there, we could probably get at least 42 milliamps of current flowing through there. The, uh, from collector to emitter. This load though is uh, lowering it. So you have to account for what the load is going to need. The load will set the current. You just need to get that fraction of a current there, probably about 1% going base to emitter to get that full current. So in any case, um, that's about it. Obviously look at other switch circuits when it comes to uh, bipolar junction transistors and stuff. I just wanted to focus on this video on measuring that current. The bipolar junction transistor is a current based amplifier. Very small amount of uh, current controls a lot more current.